In this tutorial, we will guide you through combining two license files for the same license manager machine and creating an options file to control the usage. We suggest that a qualified license administrator implement the procedures discussed in this video. You can control multiple COMSOL licenses from the same license manager. As a license administrator, you will be able to monitor who is allowed to use each of the licenses. In this tutorial, we show you how to merge two license files into one license file and how to add rules to control access using an options file for each of the licenses. Note that you must have administrative rights on the machine to continue. Our first step will be to merge the license files. For this example, we will go through combining two FNL licenses which contain different modules and quantities. The process will be the same for CKL, CKL, and for FNL, CKL combinations. The first license.dat file you received from your COMSOL representative should look like this. This is for license 1, or 1234567, and contains two seats of COMSOL, LiveLink for SOLIDWORKS, and the Structural Mechanics module. And the second license.dat file for license 2, or 3456789, looks like this. This contains five seats of COMSOL, Structural Mechanics module, Chemical Reaction Engineering module, MEMS, and RF modules. Before the files can be combined, make sure that the first lines in both license files are identical with the same host ID and server name. Commented lines starting with the number sign do not count. Also make sure that the issue dates are identical. If they are not identical, contact your COMSOL sales representative. Combine the two files by copying only the feature and increment lines from the second license file and pasting them at the bottom of the first license file. Feel free to add comment lines starting with the number sign to distinguish the second license. You can do this in any text editor. There should not be any additional line returns between the files. The result is shown here. Now we will make sure that the usage of License 1 is restricted to a number of designated machines and License 2 to a different set. These are typically machines belonging to different work groups. You can also choose to control usage on one license only, allowing anyone to use the other license. To control usage, create an options file titled lmcomsol.opt. The options file allows administrators to control various usage parameters. Users can be identified by their username, host name, display, IP address, or the LM project environment variable. Here is an example options file which restricts the use of the license seats to two groups of machines, building one and building two. The first two host group lines in the file define which computers belong to a certain group. An include statement in lmcomsol.opt means that the group listed on that row, for example, host group building one, is the only group allowed to use the matching row in license.dat. So in this example, both building one and building two groups are allowed to use the feature serial sign equals AD9753BE1F54 which is version X of the COMSOL license. Only computers in building one are allowed to use the two seats of the structural mechanics module with sign equals 423417E46C62, which was in license one portion of the combined file. And only building two computers are allowed to use five seats each of the structural mechanics module and the chemical reaction engineering module which are in the License 2 portion of the combined file. The CAD import and CAD reader features are needed for CAD products, in this case, LiveLink for SOLIDWORKS, 
functionality. The console GUI feature enables software access via the graphical user interface, and batch lines enable running of batch jobs for the specific product. Therefore, make sure to take this into account when restricting use of these products. Alternatively, you can control usage based on the user's login names. In this case, you will use the keyword group instead of host group. There are many other keywords available apart from host group, group, and include. A complete documentation of the FlexNet licensing system can be found in the Comcell help desk. Just click on the help menu, then go to documentation, and it's at the very bottom of the right hand column. The section on managing options files is listed in the table of contents. Now I will save my file as lmcomsol.opt on the license manager machine, liceserver.company.com in our example, placing it in the same directory as the combined license.dat file. It will be found automatically when the license manager is started. Now that the license files are combined and an options file is created, you will need to start the license manager. Check in the license manager log file that the options file has been detected and that no error messages are presented. Don't worry if a denied statement occurs. It means that checkout of the first serial line is denied for a particular user, but the next may still be accepted. The combined license file is needed for the license manager installation only. On the individual clients, you will want to use the separate license files to install the software or point to the port number and hostname options from the installer.